Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I am doing another meal prep video, so welcome back. I'm going to probably be doing these a couple times a month. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to make some chicken in the crock pot for shredding. And what I'm going to use it for are chicken pot pies. But I'm not going to put this chicken in just one pot pie. I'm going to split it up. That's what I'm doing is I'm using less meat in products. So here's the chicken in here. I've already patted it and dried it. I've sprayed my slow cooker. What I'm going to use this and you can find recipes on YouTube and I will link a recipe below. So that way, whenever you guys, if there's anything you want to make, there is a recipe for it and a link on YouTube that you can go directly to. So I'm going to use a little bit of chicken broth enough to cover it up a little bit of butter, onion powder, garlic salt. I won't use regular salt because I have garlic salt instead of garlic pep, pep or garlic salt instead of garlic powder, and then I also have pepper. So I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to put this on low for 6 to 8 hours, let it cool a little bit, and then I'm going to shred it. So I'll be back to show you this, and I'm going to show you everything I'm making today, and it is a Monday. Okay, let me show you guys another thing I'm making today. I am making a raspberry lemonade pie that looks really refreshing. I love the taste of any kind of berry all year round, and I love the taste of lemon, one of my favorites. So I got this recipe from a YouTube channel that I watch frequently. Her name is Julia. I have a trouble pronouncing her last name. It starts with a P. I think it's Pacheco. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I apologize, Julia. But I'm going to link her channel below, and I'm making this pie. It has a graham cracker crust, or you can make your own, raspberries, lemon, two cream cheeses, eight ounces, whipped topping. You could also make your own, and a little powdered sugar, and you mix this up. I'll show you what it looks like afterward. Thank you, everybody. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you what I did with my raspberry lemonade pie. I made a little smiley face. Hey, it doesn't look perfect. I do have to chill this for several hours. I'm going to let you guys know something about the recipe. Number one, if your raspberries aren't that sweet, which I don't think mine are, it does make a little difference. I personally would put a smidge less lemon, maybe half a lemon, because it's really tart. So that's kind of what the little improvisation I would make, and maybe a smidge more whipped topping. But it depends how tangy you want this. Anyway, I'm going to chill this for several hours. Let me know what you guys think. Bye. Okay, all, I'm going to make a low-carb recipe. One of the things I'm going to start doing in my meal prep is I'm going to change it up and make all different types of recipes. I'm going to try some vegan, vegetarian, carnivore, high-protein, just regular frugal recipes, a combination. So I have a little something for everybody. Okay, I'm making these egg bites. I got this recipe from Keto Focus. I really like this young lady. She does a great job and she does a lot of simple recipes. So she's concentrating on eating high protein. I'm making egg bites. So at the in this little uh, muffin tin, which you don't have to grease these, you're gonna put some type of meat. You could put salami, pepperoni, you crack one egg on top of that. Then you put any type of cheese on top of that. A little bit of salt and pepper if you want on top of the egg. And you bake them at 400 for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm making two dozen of these. So I'll show you what they look like afterward. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you the egg bites first. But guess what? We have a double yolk, which means that when my daughter gets married, they're going to have twins. Yay! Okay, this is what mine looks like. They're just about, I did salami on this one, and I we did pepperoni on this. I'll show you what they look like after, but I had to show you the double yolk. See you in a little bit. Okay, I know many of you are going to think I'm a little bit crazy. I don't know why. I love fall foods all year round. One of my favorite things in the world is sweet potato. I could even eat it plain without anything on it. I just love sweet potatoes and yams. So I'm boiling up some sweet potatoes, and I'm going to make a sweet potato casserole. I'm going to link a recipe below that I found that's similar to my recipe. It's exactly the same. The only thing is, is I, in my recipe, I add a little bit of evaporated milk and some eggs to puff it up. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of listing that recipe that I found, I'm just going to write out my recipe because my recipe is a little bit different 
because it does have evaporated milk and eggs and eggs kind of puffs it up a little bit and I think it gives it a good flavor and the chopped pecans I got at Aldi for $3.49 I didn't think that was a bad price actually for that size bag let me know your thoughts anyway chicken is coming along pretty good in here I got three hours I'm just doing it slow and I'll let it cool and then I'll shred it up I'll show you the egg bites I got to keep an eye on them Okay, they are still not completely done. They're coming along, but I'm, so I'm going to let these go a little bit longer. And I do have to show you my little pie every time I open up the refrigerator. Isn't that little pie smiling at us cute? I just had to point that out. It brightens my day. Hi all, I wanted to show you what the sweet potato casserole looks like. I put this pecan crumble on top. It's going to be really good. I've got an hour and 44 minutes when the chicken's done. Just wanted to show you this. This goes in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. If someone gives me a recipe I love or the family loves a recipe, I have a book called Favorite Recipes. I love a lot of the gooseberry patch cookbooks, but I put it in this book. The egg bites are out of the oven. I wanted to show you what they look like. They look really delicious, and I'm anxious to have some. Another thing is I'm going to make this sloppy joe dish made with rice. And this is an onion that I chopped up. Or actually, I didn't chop it up. This little gadget did. The top's over in the counter. I love this thing because I hate chopping up an onion, and it makes it fast and easy. Tell me if you guys use products like this to do the chopping for you. Okay, everyone, I am now making a recipe that I got from Mandy in the Making, a fabulous YouTube channel, and it is called Sloppy Joe Rice. So it's ground beef, and I have that with an onion in there, and I'll put some seasonings with it, and I will link... Mandy in the Makings video on this along with the recipe. Okay, onion powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of chicken broth, and I never can pronounce this. I'm just going to call it W sauce. Ketchup, instant rice, cheese, and a little bit of brown sugar. And then I will be putting all of this together. Oh, and in addition, some water. I'll show you what it looks like. By the way, the sweet potato casserole is out delish i had a little bit and my chicken is cooling off in there and i'm going to be shredding that okay all i just wanted to show you this sloppy joe rice dish made with instant rice it is very tasty now you can't see the cheese i did put a little cheese on there this makes a huge amount so this is a very frugal recipe due to the rice and i had all the other ingredients at home so this is fabulous and I'm going to be putting this in a dish al along with some of the sweet potato casserole. We also do frozen veggies on the side like the California medley. And I'm going to show you the next thing I'm going to make for the day in just a little bit. Okay, all. I just wanted to show you me putting some meals together. And this is that sloppy joe rice mixture made with instant rice. I got this recipe from Mandy in the Making. I'll link her below. Love her channel. And the homemade sweet potato casserole. My husband is not into sweet potatoes as much. So he likes mashed potatoes. To be honest, I had some packages of instant mashed potatoes in my pantry. So I used those. I have leftover here of the sweet potato casserole. I'm going to put that in a container. And I'll use that throughout the week with other meals that I'm making. And I also have some leftover instant mashed potatoes. So stay with me. I'll show you the next thing I'm going to make. Okay, I am back with you to show you that I'm making up this shredded chicken. What do I use to shred it? A hand mixer. It works fabulous. So this is going to be going into a pot pie. I might actually make two chicken pot pies with this because I am working on e using less meat in recipes the best way we can save money. Actually, the really best way we could save money is eat beans and rice, but the family would not love that. The good thing with me is I can eat pretty much anything, but my husband is always wanting meat with a meal, but he doesn't need a lot of meat. So I'm just going to shred this up a little bit more and put it in a container. And then tomorrow I will be using this for either one or two chicken pot pies. Hi all, I just wanted to show you something really quick. 
basically what I did is I separated this batch of chicken. I'm not sure if it's exactly even, but I put it in two batches. What I'm hoping to do tomorrow is make two chicken pot pies and just fill it with more veggies and a little less chicken. This way I get more bang for my buck. Let me know what you guys think. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, all, I'm making two loaves of banana bread, not just one. I had two ripe bananas, had all the other ingredients, and so I will be freezing some of this, but just wanted to show you, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And I will also link the recipe below. Okay, everyone, this is what I'm making today. First of all, I have the banana bread over here in a container, and these are four sausage bake right here and what I do is I peel and cut up sweet potato I use new potatoes in there so I'm using that I have some baby carrots and some sausage olive oil and then I use some onion soup mix that I get at Aldi and I spread these out through four pans and so this is a complete full meal now you don't have to put meat in this if you are a vegetarian or vegan you can just use vegetables you can even add peppers in there you can make this your own but it is very tasty I love roasted veggies I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and I'll this will make several meals and it is pretty frugal okay let me show you what I'm gonna make next I got this recipe from Catherine's plates I really like her I have known her a long time and I have followed many of her recipes this recipe is Easy Chicken Pot Pie Bubble Up. I will link the recipe below. I'm actually going to make two of these. And I want to tell you something else I'm going to start doing on Tuesdays. I'm probably going to be doing these meal preps once every other week, so about twice a month. But I have a new idea I think you guys will like. Okay, this has cheese in it. It has chicken. I used some chicken breast and I did it in a I cooked it in a slow cooker. I will show you below with, and I'll show you a link on how to do it. Very simple. And I took that and I separated it into two. That way I can make two pans of these. I can use any kind of frozen veggie. I'm going to use mixed and sweet corn. Two cans of biscuits. I might only need one. We'll see. Salt and pepper. Sour cream. Cream of chicken. Garlic salt. Onion powder. I'll probably omit the salt since I have garlic salt and actual garlic. I will spray these pans. What I want to do with one of these, and I'm going to start doing this, is put it in the freezer as a freezer meal. So if I have a week where maybe I don't have time to cook, maybe some things came up in the family, guess what? I'll have something in the freezer ready to go. I just need to put instructions on the outside. So I'm going to throw this together. I'll show you what it looks like once it's cooked. I just wanted to show you guys briefly that I'm actually taking one of this chicken pie bubble up, I guess you would call it, because you're not using a traditional crust, you're using biscuits. I'm actually, I double foiled this and I'm putting it in my back freezer. I labeled the date. I also labeled how to cook it. So this is, I packaged it with plastic wrap and then I double foiled it. So this should stay for a while, but I wanted to show you this. This is going to come handy on weeks that I won't be cooking as much. I want to start collecting more of these freezer meals. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to make are these mocha chocolate chip cookies. I will link all the recipes that I'm doing below. Also, I've had some comments about, hey, you're using the oven and it's summertime, it's hot. So going forward, remember I video ahead, I'll be starting to do some summer type recipes where some of the items will not be cooked or I'll be using the slow cooker in many things too. So just to show you. And I'm going to be doing some freezer meals. That's what I'm trying to do now is collect freezer meals for my freezers. So, or my freezer. So I will show you guys the, what these look like after I make them. Okay, all, I'm going to show you so far what these mocha chocolate chip cookies are like. They're really tasty. What I did to make it taste like mocha, and I'm going to put the recipe below, but I took some 
regular coffee, mixed it with some instant coffee grounds and just a smidge of sugar and put that in there. And that's what gives it the mocha flavor. I also have some in the oven. And they're coming along pretty well. They're almost done, not quite. So I wanted to show you this. And in just a few moments here, I'm going to show you all the things that I made in both refrigerators. And then I'll end the video for the week. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. These are the meals in the front. A few of them have been eaten. There's a loaf of bread back there. And what I'm probably going to do with that is I am going to probably go ahead and make some French toast out of it because we're not eating it up and then freeze it. So I wanted to show you guys that first. So these are some meals I'm keeping in the front. And it's just a combination of different meals that I have. One of these is chicken I, let's see, not chicken and dumplings, chicken pot pie, sloppy joe rice, and then a sausage bake. And then I have different side dishes with those as well. Okay, right there I have some banana bread. What I do is I double batch things. I'm going to be doing this more. And then I freeze stuff. I'm freezing a lot of things so that way I don't have to do as much cooking if I don't want to. And I'm going to start doing that more often. Okay, here are the meals in the back. Now we've eaten some of this, but in that one container with the red top, I made some chia and flaxseed pudding, which is really healthy for you. And I have some egg bites in one of those and cornbread muffins. And I have the three different meals I mentioned before. So that's what I have here. And then um, I'm going to show you also what I have in the freezer and then I'll end the video. Okay, in this container here is... The, and I got it for the recipe from Catherine's Plates. I'm going to link her fabulous channel below. I really like her a lot. A lot of fabulous recipes that all turn out good. In that container there, and I double put plastic wrap on it, and then I double foiled it so it would stay secure. And it has directions on it. It is some chicken pot pie bubble up. I made two pans of that. That way I'll have that for later. I just wanted to take the time to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. I'm doing this with my cell phone, so I know it doesn't have a super professional look, but I'm enjoying showing you what I'm making for the week. I hope that you can at least find one recipe that you might like to try. And I do have to say, everything turned out really good. So I hope that there's something here that you can make for your family. That's all I have to say for now. I love you, appreciate you, and please be looking on the next meal prep video. I'll be doing some summer video, summer type recipes that won't heat up your home. Love y'all. Bye.